A fresh start, a new chapter is now marked by something terrible. 60-year-old Patricia Eifert was murdered inside her daughter's brand new home. Garland police released surveillance video of two people, two people they saw parking behind the house and then going in. This happened at the time of the killing. Eifert's daughter spoke with Fox 4's Peyton Yeager, who joins us now live from Garland. Peyton. Annie Bryant and her husband, all they wanted to do was start their new life in their new home in Garland. Her mother had actually just put in her two weeks to retire, and all she wanted was to see her daughter settle in her new home. But all of these new plans were wiped away from a senseless act. My mom was fixing a cabinet for me at the new place. And some people broke in. And they shot and killed her. That was it. She's gone. Annie Bryant feels empty while sitting inside her now empty former home in Dallas. Her mother and best friend, 60 year old Patricia Eifert, murdered inside the home they recently bought in Garland. She was so proud and so excited. I bought my first home. She just wanted to fix it up how I wanted it. Bryant and her husband in the middle of moving, a big step that the couple should be celebrating. Why? Why would you do that? Just one of the many questions Bryant keeps asking herself. Tuesday evening, she says her mom got off work and wanted to visit the new house off Briar Way. Caught on surveillance video just before 7 p.m., a four-door black car is seen creeping down the alleyway while Eifert was inside alone. A female driver and a male passenger get out and go in through the garage. Moments later, the pair is seen running back to the black car with items in their hands, and the woman also grabs more belongings from Eifert's car in the driveway before taking off. Bryant says her husband found her mother inside, shot to death. If you're going to steal, steal, but to just shoot and kill somebody, it's just senseless. It was just a random act. Garland police do not believe the killers and the victim knew each other, and it's still unclear if they were staking out the home or in the area prior to the murder. My wonderful, wonderful mother. But a few minutes after and less than a mile away, police say the same black car was involved in a hit and run. The victim did come out to confront to see if their vehicle was uh, damaged and that male suspect then produced the handgun and pointed at that victim. A string of violent events, Bryant says, still doesn't feel real. Remembering her mom as a selfless, caring woman, always willing to help. It just doesn't make sense. The two people police are looking for tonight, they are still on the run. Police say they are armed and dangerous. They are not in custody. As for the family, Annie Bryant tells me they still haven't had a chance to look over what's missing. They say right now all they know that's missing is a saw. So what they're saying is they believe all this was over a dispute over some tools inside the home.